901 902. I'll wait for Kevin here to catch up. You know, he's back there rapping, partying, playing. There we go. 901 902. We've got Aaron Nola in the Phillies at minus 109. Sean Manaya in the Mets at minus 101. Total of seven with some juice to the over at minus 120. All right, Corby, I've been talking all year. Aaron Nola has the implodability factor, but he's a big game pitcher. This guy gets it done in the postseason. So I'm not going to be a coward now and not back Aaron Nola in the playoffs. I'm actually doing a base winner parlay today. I'm trying to get some two to ones here, make up some ground. So the first leg of my parlay is going to be Philly's full game on the money line. Now I will say there's some numbers that concern me here. So when you look at weighted OPS, it's the third lowest. Aaron Nola profile is fine at 683, but in three, uh, or excuse me, two of his last three starts, he's been rocked a little bit here by the Mets. They do have some lefties that can give him some tr trouble. When you look at Nola, he's about 50 points worse against lefties than righties. So those lefties in the Mets lineup, the, the Nemos, et cetera, can cause some trouble. But I think Aaron Nola gets it done here uh, for the record. Uh, 60 of 207, the projected Mets lineup, a 290 lifetime batting average against Nola. 22 of 78 from Manaya, a 282 average. He struggled in three of his last five starts against the Phillies. So there's some, there could be some runs here, but I'm going to back the Phillies as my first leg of the base runner parlay. And honorable mention, I really, for I, the first thing I thought of this morning, walking to the shower, Alec Bohm's going to hit a home run. I don't know why, but I like Alec Bohm for some reason for a home. It was the first thing on my mind this morning. So I got Bohm on the mind. There's jokes for that. What do you think about this game, Corby? Yeah, Aaron Nola games usually have this, but uh, an interesting thing about this game is just plate appearance sample size. Nola's played this Mets team for 265 plate appearances. Manaya 104, which you just don't see as frequently nowadays. Like It's tough to see this kind of just build up versus a lineup. Uh, 275 average, not great, but he has had a decent strikeout percent. Uh, Aaron Nola is kind of, you know what you're going to get with him. I don't think it's head or miss at this point. So I do think that that price is fine. On the other side, like the, the main thing for me is like, how do the Mets score? I, I think in most cases, they just have the explosive ability. Um, like a Nemo, like an Alonzo, like they, Lindor has been power hitting. Like I think most of their runs produced are from extra base hits, from home runs, things like that in a park in New York that I don't think um, is indicative of that, that kind of baseball. I I trust the Phillies lineup a lot more here. I trust Nola. Like, we know what we're getting from him. Uh, it would be Phillies or nothing for me. I didn't play this game, but I just – I haven't been a big fan of the Mets. Like, I know that they had to sneak their way into the playoffs. Um, I don't know. I, I I just still see this lineup as someone who's not going to compete for the title and, and Philly – as one that very obviously can, I think they're what third in the the um, prices for World Series champ, uh, and, and for good reason. They have the lineup to do so. I would back Nola here. I didn't play it. I uh, <laughs> I'm in a way for the Dodgers game, but I think that is a good spot to be on. Yeah, at B Dub, I think the over does. I do have it 7.8 runs. Both these pitchers have had difficulties against the opposing lineup. I suppose what the question is is what kind of leash are we talking here? Obviously. Booties tighten a little bit, right? This is game three now. This isn't game one. This is game three. You're tied. The stakes just get higher and higher and higher. And I would imagine that makes the leashes for these starting pitchers shorter and shorter and shorter. So we start handicapping, starting bit more bullpens and starting pitchers now. What are we doing here? I think that I disagree with Corby. I love this Mets offense. I think they're a ton of fun to watch. They score runs. But what do we get today between Nola and Manaya? I, I just took the Phillies full game here on the parlay. But again, it, it, there's a lot of questions. It's a close game, a close yeah. matchup. What do we do here? Yeah, it's a tough game. Um, I think it's it's priced correctly. I've got it actually at minus 101, and it looks like that's exactly where it is in the market right now for the Mets. And you mentioned you like the Mets offense, and, and they're, they're a good offense. Both of these teams versus respective splits are ranked sixth in my ratings. And uh, not much between them. Philadelphia 112 base winner weighted runs created uh, versus lefties, and uh, the Mets uh, 110 weighted runs created plus versus righties. And you think, well, maybe it'll come down to the bullpen. And uh, if it does, these bullpens are really similar. I know, I know Philly had some some problems in the first game and the second game, really. But they got to two strikes a lot. I think the advanced metrics on the guys are really good. Uh, I look at these teams is really even but Kyle I, I want to ask you this have you have you heard the OMG song uh, by Jose Iglesias it, it is a great song <laughs> no no if it's uh, hip is it new then that means uh, no it, that's what if you watch the games they have the OMG sign I'm like well what's this all about so he's and he's good it's it's I mean 
he's a reggaeton um singer I, are you familiar with reggaeton at all i Have love ever... reggae i love reggae love reggae music Tons no 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 reggae. not reggae reggaeton the guys that the guys the guys uh, that are producing the show they probably know it like like no have you clue. ever heard of, have you ever heard of an artist called eddie lover absolutely not Okay, so he's he's a good reggaeton artist from from Panama, but you got to listen to the song. If you haven't listened to the song, it is an upbeat song, and uh, I I don't know. Maybe there's there's some mojo there for the myths. Uh, mm. I I just this game's kind of a stay away. I like looking at the stolen bases versus the Mets. Uh, you you saw Turner; he had two in the last game. I think that Turner stolen base would be good. Of course, I'm rooting for Brandon Marsh. I don't know if he's going to get any playing time today, uh, but we. That parlay, that stolen base parlay, at least we cashed uh, half of it already. So, and I think the I think the series is going to go five. These teams are really evenly matched. So, that, that's those are my thoughts. I I, I would enjoy the game, uh, but I would not. I'm not going to bet it too heavily. Maybe, maybe a Trey Turner stolen base prop. There we go. I, I for some reason like Alec Bohm. Kenny's in the chat box. Our guy Kenny, uh, calling you a coward, Corby, and saying you need to take Castellanos. But I agree with your take. We wait till the hurricane hits tomorrow, right? To take Castellanos home runs, despite his great profile. Uh, six of tw- six, 16, three home runs and a double off of Manaya. But yeah, it's got to be, we got to have a tragedy, right? And we got to have, and again, we hope it's not too tragic. My goodness, but uh, uh, hopefully it's not too bad with that hurricane. Uh, Don Corleone says reggae and reggaeton is the same thing. Apparently it's uh, not. Again, uh, we got Ju- oh, wait, wait, is Julian sliding into your DMs, Corby? I don't got no one sliding into my DMs. That's pretty tight. We like that here. Uh, for purposes of the show, first leg of my base winner parlay today, I'm taking the Phillies full game here. I like it quite a bit, and we're getting a verification. It's not going to be Aaron Rodgers as coach. Uh, you guys put that in the chat box. I'm going to read it. It looks like Jeff Ulbrick, former linebacker in the NFL, played for the 49ers, the Saints, a few teams in the NFL. He's going to be the interim coach there after they fire Robert Sala. Yeah, it's absolutely Robert Sala's fault that Aaron Rodgers is brittle and can't play football anymore. Absolutely. Totally Robert Sala's fault there. Uh, apparently, reggaeton is more sexual. That's what I'm getting. I... I don't know. Reggae you know. tones. This song is good. It it it, it, it goes it goes it goes like this. Oh uh, my God. Totolo malo de chile pi pi ya ya. Oh my God. Tama saludi prosperity dad. He's I, I had it better before the show, but but uh, it's good. He's really you should check it out. It's a good song. I I, right. I I'm for the Phillies. I hope the Phillies win. Uh, but but I got to give Jose Iglesias. A, I mean, he's he's to me uh, approaching Eddie Lover status. Uh, I mean, I remember the Iglesias was it Bailamos? Bailamos, right? Let yeah, he's friends. What's that guy's name Bailamos. again? He, yeah, yeah. Enrique Iglesias. Uh, all he's the Igles- all no, the he's friends with the, with another guy. I can't remember the guy's name, but he's a famous guy. Ricky Martin, maybe, is, is who he hangs out with. And look, something. all those guys, super, you know, the Iglesias yeah. guys. I'd love to be just an Iglesias just over there spreading that Latino heat all over the place. Love that. But uh, there we go. Alexis Beltran says, I earned my like for the day. So we appreciate it. You know, you never know what's going to make people happy out here in the universe. Again, purposes of the show, I'm taking Philly's money line as a first leg of my base winner parlay. Chaz Ellington says reggaeton is actually Spanish rap. See, I got to be careful here because Corby and Kenny tell me that Drake is cool, blah, blah, blah. Then I talk to these kids and they just lay into me about how it's not cool and how I don't know what. So I just get misled by all these young people and I just start to feel like this old dork. Who's you know, telling you Drake's not good? Drake's good. I, I I'm apparently that. not. My my son and his friends will not allow me to be a Drake fan. Apparently, things are bad there. Uh, now, again, I do not know the details, nor am I privy to anything cool there. I'm just telling. I'm I'm pulled every which way but loose. Okay, I'm pulled every which way but loose, and I don't know which way to go. But I'm taking Philly's money line first leg base winner parlay. 